the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Love of God. They, 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 they show me the Father. I think I was reading some scripture the other day where Jesus was saying is, I and the Father, the Father and me, and I and you. And when people see us, did you remember that what Philip was saying is, show us the Father? Mm -hmm. How long have I been with you? And you tell me to show you the Father. Yeah. My question is for believers. When we say show Jesus, Hey, 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 this is a good one. Have, have you ever had this? I, I know you haven't. You may not have anyway. But have you had the opportunity where you say, the, the, the question is, show me Jesus. Hey, it is saying, how long have I been? How long? Now, I did been? tell somebody. I was joking when I said it. But <laughs> I did tell somebody. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Is that not that heavenly bite? What do you call it? Heaven, heavenly, heaven what? Heaven what? Heaven bite, right? Heavenian. 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 What, what, what's the unique characteristic of a heaven, heavenian? Heavenian. What is it? See, you, characteristics? Yeah, yeah. What, 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 do they see Jesus? Well, the unique characteristics are the fruits of the spirit. Uh -huh. Period. That, that's it. Uh huh. So they see Jesus then, right? Because those are what those characteristics are the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's my point. Hey, I, that's a good I'm going to do a quick time over there. <laughs> hey, have you seen, how long have you seen me? You see Jesus if you see, because that's what we want, right? We really want people to see Jesus. Yeah. So that's what being an ambassador is about. And that's what Jesus said, you see the Father if you've seen me. And in John 17, he said, I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. I am in you, and you are in me. A child, a humble child, is the fact is, it's not a, I think that's the part about what you said about humility. Humility is the point is that it's not about you it's about him right yeah yeah i am the he said i am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father except who not my brother addison no not my brother taylor not my brother jimmy here no it's about through him and if we i guess i think our part is for us being converted and coming as a child is to always reflect what a child is supposed to reflect, which is Jesus Christ. Yeah. And that's where I think that humbleness comes from. So uh, I, I think I, I like that part and I think that should have been brought out. And I, 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 I challenge you one day to do that as far as somebody say, uh, show me Jesus. <laughs> Don't, don't challenge me nothing like that because I mean that <laughs> I know that if they're looking at my outward appearance and expect to see Jesus, they they will not see Jesus. <laughs> and then if if it's a inward thing, then it would have to be an inward perception. So I shouldn't have to say <laughs> say that. But if they ask me. Hey, I, I think it's I think it's a blessing. That's what I'm saying. Is it, it, what Jesus was saying is that that's what Philip was saying, right? Philip was saying, "I physically see you." Yeah. Show me the Father, like you said. Somebody asked. That's that's the whole point. And then you want to feel both. All of us want to feel comfortable enough. Hey, look, humble enough to say, Jesus 
And we say it all, we say it all the time. He's in me. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it, it would be, it would be glorifying God to be able to make that statement. It would be. It if would you see me, you have seen Come Jesus. On. And if you, see me, if you see Jesus in me, then you have seen the Father. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I would love to boast in that, but then in my boasting, in my, in my lifting up self, you know, no. there, there's a fine line to that. But so yeah. Yeah. I, I think I would rather them have that revelation, you know, right now. I will say this, uh, just in my, my comings and goings and, and conversations that I have with folks, yeah. I do get asked, you know, if I'm a minister, uh -huh. quite often, you know. And, um, it implies something, right? It implies that you, you carry yourself. Uh, well, I mean, it's just the conversation is, is, is based on scripture. That you know, and there's no precept to it. There's no, there's no, uh, there's nothing in it that is self-proclaiming or anything like that. Yeah. It's just uplifting the kingdom. So yeah. obviously people are going to, I guess, come to that conclusion. And I just tell them, I'm just a Christian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, but that is the goal anyway, right? Is the fact that... I, this way, I don't want people to focus on the titles and positions when they see a Christian. I want them to recognize that all Christians, if, if anything, have the flavor of ministry. Yeah. Ministry, because that's all have been called to do it. We're yeah. all called, he said, go, I mean, if correct me wrong, the fivefold ministry gifts is to equip the saint to do the work of the ministry. What is the work of the ministry? Is to, to glorify, preach, teach the gospel. The kingdom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you don't, if you don't, if you're not doing that, and, and your life is that reflection. That's why you were talking about the fruits of the spirit. Your life is a reflection of it. So I, I like that. And I said, and like I said, we use the, the avatar like that. Don't come. Tell them, man, come as an empty cup. And then let me fill you with the word, not with man's you know, laws and rules. I think that a person can grow. Because Jesus said, if you continue with my word, then you my disciples to be. And you should what? Know the truth. And the truth will make you free. That's yes. what the truth will make you free. Let's see what the next one is. <laughs> Did you get anything out? You got some you got some out of that one, right? Oh yeah, I mean my cup overflowing. Come on now, hey! <laughs> and 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 that is not a a one-time thing. That is continuous. Continuous, right, sir? Overflowing. Yes, Let sir. Let me uh, answer this phone. Is somebody? Okay. Hey, Amen. <laughs> hey, hey, Jim, you got any comment on that, brother? You just listen more. That's okay. Well, I um. I listened to the little thing you had of the little girl. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And I just wonder, was that her own observations from the life that she's living, wherever she's living? Yeah. Or was she taught that? Yeah. That would be my only, that's the first thing that came to my mind. Was she taught that? You know, because a lot of, you know, a lot of stuff is out there, you know, critical race theory, teaching this, teaching that, you know, and, and people have different opinions on it. And it has a lot of layers in that, in that as well too. But I don't see a lot of little children that's recognizing disparity or prejudicism or oppression or whatever. I just don't see children, they're pretty much oblivious to that kind of stuff unless they're taught that and so with her i was just wondering was she taught that or was these her own observations but i i, I don't know you know it all depends on where she's brought up at yeah and kind of you know you know i guess uh, echo uh socioeconomic status as well too 
of the family, you know, so you see things differently depending on where you are, you know what I'm saying? So I just thought that was kind of, um, wow, amazing. Yeah, it was. My first impression, my first impression, that she probably was taught that. Yeah. yeah. You know, I thought that as well. And then I, I uh, in, in doing so, um, your children can be exposed to the things that you're, you know, that you're actually uh, interested in and that's dominating your life. So if, if this child is sitting underneath the parent and the parent is constantly watching these uh, depictions of people of color being, uh, you know, atrocities being, being done to them, yeah. And, and and in the conversations that's being had, yeah. you know, in, in front of that child, that child can be exposed to that stuff and despair takes place. And then you have uh, that video, you Absolutely. know, and, uh, and and it breaks my heart uh, that that child was, was, was put in that position to actually witness that stuff. Um, not saying and, you know, we need to, we need to, to uh, put them in a shell to where they don't know it, but there's a way of, of getting that information to them, Yeah, you know, to where that child is not looking to our government to, to make that change. Yeah. And, you know, and at that age, in, in my opinion, and, and level of innocence, that should be the furthest thing from their mind. That I mean, they, that that is not something they should be focusing on, dealing with, thinking about, observing. It, it's just my opinion at all. You know, I know sometimes people are talking about, oh, getting back to some of this critical race theory that has different things about it, or wokeism or whatever you want to say. But I think I don't think we need to be teaching that child. You know, you're you're because of the color of your skin, you're oppressed. Because of the color of your skin, your life is going to be so much tougher. Because of the color of your skin, uh, you're not accepted in society at the same level as everybody else. I'm not so sure that's what we need to be teaching children. I, I, we definitely need to teach children history, just as we need to teach all subjects. You know, and the truth is the truth is the truth. But I don't think we need to, you know, you gotta look at um, just the sheer number of suicides yeah. among children nowadays. All it's right. absolutely heartbreaking. And so, why would you be a child? A lot of that comes from obviously bullying and exactly. social media. And I think some of it comes from just exposure to, to things of this nature. But as a child, those kind of things shouldn't even be on your eye. I was running around, you know, trying to jump jump on trees and climb fences and, and do stunts and tumbles. And I mean, I, I never thought about no stuff like that. And I was brought up, you know, in the South, Alabama, on a dirt road with a clothesline, but all black school, no whites whatsoever. But it never really dawned on me. I, I had you. to be taught those kind of things uh, later on to really understand the significance of it. Just my observation yeah. and the innocence of a child. And I think that's what you're talking about, the innocence of a child. Where you just, I mean, you, you're pure and you don't see negativism or unless somebody brings it to you, you know, then obviously you can't have but to see if they bring it to you. But for the most part, it should be an innocent lifestyle, I think. Well, yeah. and, I, and I think that's why a lot of the even when we talk about the continuing generation of, of uh, prejudice and hate is because people teaching them that, you know? And I'm not talking about the black child, I'm talking about the white child. And I think that's why there was, some of them are very hesitant about how if you're gonna teach either critical race theory or history, how you can put it in a package or a perspective that doesn't make the other person say, I'm talking about you, but really I'm talking about history. And that's so that means that's not you, it's just the history of good and bad of our history, you know? Uh, maybe that I don't know how to, to, to perfectly balance it. Uh, but I do know that it's not right to sugarcoat or cover some parts of our history. Uh, maybe the fact is that I like that part when the scripture said, come humble 
is that maybe we have taught our nation that we we couldn't do anything wrong that we are the light or the beacon of, 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 of democracy but we need to also let them know that yeah we got some we got some junk in our trunk too you know uh but in spite of the junk in the trunk we're going on to the principles that guide us in other words right you know what i mean just being a christian there's guiding principles of what Christianity is about, opposed to the history of Christianity in some areas of our life. You know, the Spanish, the Spanish uh, uh, Inquisition is one of them. The, the slavery and all of us, all these things are bad elements of our history. But our constitution and our foundation of Christianity is is different from what we are. Does that make sense? You know, you, you said a, you said a mouthful there because, again, and it's the same kind of thing uh, in, in that analogy in that, and some people do as it relates to, say, Hebrew Israelites and stuff like that. They teach Christianity from the perspective of the atrocities that Christianity has brought upon this world and the number of people and countries of people that have died uh, at the hands of quote unquote Christianity as the means by proving that it has nothing to do with God and love. So yes. if that's, and, and, and that's historical facts. So do I teach it that way? Or do I teach it from the Bible and show the purity of what it really is oh. and, 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 and what it was intended to be? So you can teach history, even slavery, in a certain way, or you can teach it in another way. Either way, it could be 100% factual, but it all depends on, I think you said, the balance and also the perspective of what you teach it on it yeah. is going to make a difference. Because I don't see critical race theory being synonymous with history. I uh -huh. think there's two different things. A lot of people try to act like it's all one and the same but it's really not because the spanish Inquis inquisition is history yeah but i i don't but i don't have to teach christianity from that perspective you know what i'm saying so it all depends on and not just the spanish inquisition that's just one aspect of it i mean we could go to catholicism invaded almost every country and killed anybody that wouldn't accept and so on and so forth so on and so forth i mean it's there's probably been more people died at the hands of quote unquote christianity probably all the wars combined if we just be honest about it but is that really what it's about nope. or is that what man has taken it and made it to be exactly. and used it as a means to oppress and to and to and to uh overthrow countries governments kingdoms so we have to understand yeah. what is truth Come on, know, it's true yeah. but is it really is truth you know it's also the intent behind the teaching yes sir come on come you on. know if you're if Absolutely. your intention Absolutely. is to to cultivate a a either a fear or to or a anger about yeah. a certain thing you know or to put down a certain thing then yeah that's going to be the intent and that's your objective going in but if you're just laying out the facts, on, there's man. nothing wrong with stating the facts. Yeah. If it is to just state facts based on, in in our instance, teaching kingdom principles, right? principles, then they need to line up with kingdom principles and say that this was not according to what God intended you know for these people to do or or, or so this is not kingdom-minded processes these are man processes and Come these on. are the results of leaving away from instructions of god yes and 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 going with the will of man so there's a way of teaching all these things yes, you on. know that, that has to deal with uh the life of of mankind and and god and god so you look at look at the old testament it yes. didn't it did not talk about just the good things it talks about 
the, the ups and downs. Yes, you know, yes. the bads and the goods. Thank you yes. know, the, the 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 great things of, of God and then the the, the the things that men did when they turned away from God. Yes. It talked about it all equally, equally. all the way through, and it showed showed the shortcomings yes. and 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 Ooh. the victories. And so in doing that, it just showed types and shadows of what this lifestyle is in this day and age. Come on, brother. You know, and when you bring up from, from Christ forward, you know, then there's things that we talk about that are still based on scriptures and they are still testimonies, just like the Old Testament, yep. the New Testament, and the current Testament. Yes. So there is still testaments being taught based on kingdom Come on. business. And so when we do that, Woo. then I think there is no error in what we do. But when we start picking and choosing what we're going to talk about, how we're going to talk about it, and it all has to deal with this world and this world system, then Woo. we have gone amok. We have Woo. run astray. We have been blinded by the cares of this world, and God has no place in it. Woo. Well, you know, I think you said it in that... Uh... It all depends on the intention. Yes. Or no. or, or or what your goal is yes. in the teaching. Yeah. Yes. So if it, if it if it is to try to to tear down and make this look bad and prove this ain't what it is, you then of course it. I can teach from that perspective. Yep. If I'm gonna teach that it's all this it's all that and it show you true history to show you how to develop and not just sugarcoat everything, then I can oh. teach from that and I can teach from that perspective. So I think you're right in that it's all in the What is your intention in teaching this subject? Is it to educate? Is it to enlighten? Or is it to oppress or to, be, to create anger or some other emotion? And I think that's and, and that's and that's what we have to look at from everything that comes up as relates to political issues and everything in that what is the underlying intention of this thing? What are they trying to accomplish? I yeah. hear what they're saying, but 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 what is, what do they really expect to gain from this in the long run, and and not be caught up in the political pundits as it relates to pick, picking out things that that may be near and dear to them. But bottom line, why are we even doing this? Yeah. Well, why, what is the intent? Yeah. What is going to be the outcome of this? And, and if it's something that's ungodly, or if it's something that's unrighteous, or if it's something that uh, that's going to cause you know one sect of people to to feel oppressed or 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 superior or whatever, and I think we've already chosen the wrong purpose of the thing. Amen. Amen. Yep.